Hinksworth is a village and civil parish in North Hertfordshire, England. It sits just off the Great North Road between Baldock and Biggleswade. It has a village hall, a park, a pub, a small church, a bus stop and a post box. The population of the 2011 census was 313. The name of the village has variously been recorded as Hingestwerda, Hainstwerda, Hamstwerda, Hingselwerd, Hengstworth. Hingstriga, Hainsworth, Hankworth, Hingsworth, Heigextworth, Hingstworth, and Hengsworth. The parish of Hingsworth is in the extreme north of the county on the border with Bedfordshire. It lies low, the ground nowhere rising more than 172 feet above mean sea level. The ancient track called the Ridgeway Cross is the low land to the east of the parish, running parallel with the River Ree, which forms the northeast boundary. The area of the parish is 1,463 acres, most of which is arable land, the remainder woodland and pasture. The soil is loam and blue clay, the subsoil varies. The chief crops are wheat, barley, field beans and oilseed rape. Copper lights have been dug in the parish and are still to be found. An act authorizing enclosure of the common fields was passed in 1802 and the award was made in 1806. The nearest railway stations are Baldock, 5 miles to the south and Ashwell 6 miles to the southeast, both on the Hitchin and Cambridge branch of the Great Northern Railway. The Great North Road skirts the parish on the west and forms its southwest boundary. Not far from this road, on the borders of Hinksworth and Caldecote, Roman remains were discovered in about 1720 by workmen who were digging there for gravel with which to repair the road. These included several human bodies, urns, patere and other objects, with a Danish or Dutch coin. In 1810 a further find of great interest was made in the parish of two rare Greek coins or medals, one of Mithridates king of Pontus, and the other of Perseus king of Macedonia, both very well preserved. Near the River Ree in the north of the parish and not far from the camp at Arbury Banks or Harborough, and near the Ridgeway, a hoard of more than 500 Roman coins was discovered. Near them were found other Roman remains. The village of Hinksworth lies a mile and a half to the east of the Roman road, with which it is connected by roads leading northwest and southwest, the former continuing to Ashwell. The 14th century St. Nicholas Church and former rectory stand on the southeast of the angle formed by the road to Ashwell and that leading southwest to the Roman road, and the village lies a little to the northwest of the church. At the beginning of the 18th century it had only 35 houses, of which three were almshouses. Hinksworth is home to Hinksworth Archers, one of the few archery clubs in the area. The medieval manor house Hinksworth Place is about half a mile southwest of the village. Hinksworth has three tiers of local government at parish, district and county level, Hinksworth Parish Council, North Hertfordshire District Council, and Hertfordshire County Council. Hinksworth is an ancient parish, and it was part of the Hundred of Odsey. Hinksworth was included in the Royston Poor Law Union from 1835. The Local Government Act 1894 created parish and district councils. Hinksworth was included in Ashwell Rural District from December 28, 1894. Despite the name, Ashwell Rural District Council was based in the town of Royston. Hinksworth's population at the time was below threshold to be given a parish council, and so it had a parish meeting to take over the secular functions of the parish vestry. A parish council was established by 1939. Ashwell Rural District was abolished in 1935, becoming part of Hitchin Rural District, which in turn was abolished in 1974, becoming part of North Hertfordshire. The author Monica Dickens lived in a cottage in the village for four years from 1947 to 1951. Here she wrote her novels Flowers on the Grass and My Turn to Make the Tea, the latter based on her experiences as a reporter working on the Hertfordshire Express in Hitchin. While in Hinksworth she was the treasurer of the annual Ashwell Horse Show and president of the Hinksworth Cricket Club, having bought maroon blazers for all the team, the umpire and then the club secretary. The notable 16th-17th century landowner Sir Thomas Golding of Poslingford, Suffolk also owned lands at Hinksworth. The sculptor John W. Mills currently lives in Hinksworth. Thanks for watching.